thanks again. Hello, everybody. Um, most of us have struggled at some point to deliver a project at the desired time. And there's lots of reasons for that struggle. There's lots of challenges we face. Unrealistic schedule goals in the first place, uh, sometimes emerging complexity, risk events occur, personal turnover, those kinds of things. One of the things that's often overlooked is that the way that we build schedules, traditional schedules, the way that we were taught to build them has very low odds of delivery. And what I wanna do th this morning is explore why that's the case and look at ways to do a better job of predicting when projects are really going to happen. So let me uh, get things going here. This is how we were taught to build schedules, right? It's a tried and true method. We identify the tasks, develop estimates, figure out the sequence, and then we have uh, software tools commit arithmetic on our behalf. And what we get out of step four is a schedule. And they don't work that way. And the, the reason is why, why? Well, one thing, our estimates aren't perfect, all right? Some tasks are gonna take longer than we thought. If we do a good job of estimating, some tasks are gonna take less than we thought. And when I was younger, I assumed that it was gonna all work out in the end. It doesn't. Once upon a time, three mathematicians went duck hunting. They flushed a duck. The first guy shot one foot to the left. The second guy shot one foot to the right. And the third guy yells, on average, we got him. Okay. It turns out the averages don't help. The duck flies away. So what I want to do is talk about estimation. There's really two things that are going on here. There's estimation and math. And I'm going to first talk about estimation. I know we've all done estimates. Estimates, are, we call them estimates rather than accurate predictions of the future because they're not going to be accurate predictions of the future. Um, our estimates are going to have variance. Our estimates are going to be wrong. Sometimes they're wrong a little bit. Sometimes they're wrong a lot. Why? Yeah, sometimes it's just an error. We missed a step. We forgot to include something in the work. Uh, we didn't include travel time. Those are common mistakes. Sometimes our estimates are based on assumptions that, that don't pan out, right? I thought they had those parts in stock. Um, I thought we could use what we did last year as a basis, but it turns out that it's gonna be more work to retool that than to start fresh. And sometimes risks occur. Sometimes our estimates were pretty good, but risk events occur that screw us up. And so estimation is an imprecise science. I wanna give you a, a little mental vacation. I would like you to assume that you're working with the best estimator in the world. The best estimator in the world. Now, she's not a goddess, maybe, maybe a demigoddess, but she's not a goddess. She's not perfect, but she's really good. If the best estimator in the universe gives you an estimate, it's never wrong by more than a day. So if the best estimator in the universe tells you that task A is going to take two days, it might take one day, it might take two days, it might take three days, but it will finish successfully by the end of day three. In fact, those three outcomes are all equally likely. One third of the time it'll finish a day early, one third of the time it finishes on time, and one third of the time it finishes late. Maybe she's, maybe she's not a goddess, maybe she's a demigoddess, because if the best estimator in the universe estimates a task and you're doing it, your kids don't get sick. You don't have a flat tire. You don't get stuck in traffic. Your relatives all stay healthy for the duration of the project. It either takes the amount of time estimated, it finishes a day early or it finishes a day late. So what you got on your screen is a trivial project. There's only three tasks in it. The best estimator in the world has told you task A is a two-day task, task B is a two-day task, and task C is a two-day task. So if the best estimator in the world estimates task A at two days and task B at two days, and they're supposed to run in parallel, the question is, how likely is task C to start on time? All right. 
Well, there's a way to do this with statistics, but we're not going to do it that way. What I want to do instead is uh, count. So the best estimator in the world has told you that task A and task B are each going to take two days. And we said that it's equally likely that task A will finish a day early on time or a day late. The same is true of B. So if task A and task B both finish early, task C can finish. Whoops. Wendy, the, the slide's not behaving correctly. Uh, just try clicking in the center. Um, sometimes the mouse. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to call an audible on this one. So if task A finishes early and task B finishes early, task C can start early, right? A finishes in one day, B finishes one day, task C can start early. That's great. What happens if task A finishes on time and task B finishes early? Well, because of those dependencies, if A is on time and B is early, the soonest task C can start is on time. What if happens if A is late and B is early? Well, if A is late and A and B both have to be done before task C can start, then task C gets delayed as well. Okay, wait a second. You're seeing a pattern here. The worst case wins. The worst case wins because if A and B are both prereqs, even if the best estimator in the universe estimates them, the, the, the task, the, which of those two tasks finishes late is going to delay task C. And so if you count, what you'll see is of these nine equally likely probabilities, A and B are going to be late. A or B will be late for five of them. Task C is going to start late over half the time. Over half the time. That's with the best estimator in the universe. And I have some terrible news for you. She is probably not on your project. Here's what this means. If we calculate using the best estimator in the universe, the likely outcomes for tasks A, B, and C, what you're going to see is there is a very small chance, just with this three task network, there is a 3% chance, the one out of 27 chance, that this project finishes at the end of day two. Task, this is the situation where task A and B both take a day and task C takes only one day. 3% of the time, you could finish that early. 15% of the time, you'll be done at the end of day three. 33% of the time, you'll hit the schedule that's predicted by traditional scheduling methods. That leaves 48% of the time that this project is going to be late. And that's with the best estimator in the universe estimating a trivial now. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of The Great IT Professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.